From Long Island Sound to Lake Champlain, from the Finger Lakes to the Great Lakes, from the smallest stream to the largest waterfall, water is New York State's greatest resource. Clean water is essential to life, for industry, transportation, agriculture, and recreation. While we have successfully controlled many of the point sources of pollution, such as industrial plant outlets, less obvious non-point source pollution from farms, homes, and city streets degrades water quality in surface water bodies and groundwater. Poorly treated or untreated sewage from failing septic systems can contaminate groundwater, an important source of our drinking water. Recreational areas, such as beaches, may be affected, and wildlife populations may dwindle. Contaminated drinking water directly threatens the health of our neighbors, our friends, our families. That's why sewage treatment systems are regulated by the New York State Department of Health and the Department of Environmental Conservation. Keeping our water clean is everyone's responsibility. As a homeowner or a tenant, you may have a tool designed to help keep your water clean. An on-site sewage treatment system. Your septic system. If your home is not part of a municipal sewage system, an on-site system for treatment of household wastewater is needed. And just as you provide preventative maintenance for your car, you need to maintain your on-site sewage treatment system as well. When properly maintained, it will provide you with long-term effective treatment of your household wastewater. A failing septic system, besides contaminating water resources, can be costly to repair and very inconvenient. We're going to look at a typical gravity feed septic system. You'll learn what causes that system to fail and how to detect those conditions leading to those failures. In the second half of our program, you'll learn how to maintain that system and avoid such problems. First, let's look at how a conventional on-site sewage treatment system works.